This playthrough is rated T for teen. Green salutations, viewers. Voldemar here with more Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. In the last episode, we learned a uh, we learned a few things about uh, money and that you can't get a camel through the pit head of a needle to hit to the lands of heaven. Sometimes you just have to good, do good deeds where the good deeds are done. By that I mean we sent a, a fake angel back to where he came from because some lady wanted to uh, rip off all these uh, rich old white guys who had done bad things in their life. I think she's the best person ever because I would I've always wanted to do something like that. Anyway, let's go on with the next episode. I think we're on episode seven now. I think. All right, master. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah. Even though he didn't sound like that at all. We're just accepting the fact that he sounds like that. Although, for recently, for an otaku, I'm surprised they didn't go that route, make him give him the kind of the more nasally voice. Anyway. Seriously? Yeah, I'm sure of it. Seriously? If it's legit, I'd kill to be able to listen to it. A friend of mine is going to let me listen to his copy. Why don't we listen to it together? Awesome. Thanks. You're like my bestest friend. Who talks like that? Well, I guess... Nah, never mind. <laughs> All right, I'll see you tomorrow at school. Got it. Remember, I'm counting on you. Wait up! It, why is your bag glowing? Oh, this? It's a black light that starts shining when it gets dark out. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it seriously stands out. I'd probably be able to see you from miles away. And at night, I could follow your glow. Huh? What was that noise? Huh? Oh! Uh. And then they died. Hello, game. Are you gonna load now? Thank you. <laughs> I was like, where are you taking so long? Episode seven, Little Wing. I was like, man, the loading's like a little weird in this game. Let me tell you, even for having it being installed. A number of strange accidents have been reported in the Koto. A ghost might be involved. I could request, uh, basically, ask us to exercise the spirit before there are any more victims. And FYI, the client wants us to go by the alias Azure. Uh, Azure? Just who is this person, anyway? I don't know anything more than that. Honestly, as long as they pay, it doesn't really matter who our clients are. So, what do we have to do? First off, investigate those incidents I mentioned. Last night, an incident occurred at the Wakasu Wak Wak Seaside Park in Koto. A high school student was injured, but that's the only info that was released. One of the other incidents involved a fisherman who almost drowned as a result of being attacked. Fortunately, a security guard was able to save him in time to so make a full recovery. Uh, sorry, I had to braid to shut up there for a second. As you're a pastor, I am kind of a bit of information. I think it's because the name got flipped all of a sudden and it weirded me out. Because if you just look back just a couple seconds ago, it said Fukurai Chizuru, and it's back to Chizuru Fukurai, and that messed me up for some reason. Maybe I'm getting dementia, I don't know. Based on what they said, it's safe to assume that they're connected to one another. Here's a list of all the victims related to this particular case. Why did we need her little animation scene just for this? Okay, whatever. I've compiled a list of the reported incidents. Here's where the anglers were it was admitted. You want us to interview the survivors, correct? Yeah, you better get on that right now. Understood. Let's get going, Vlad Mifune. What about the other characters that joined the team? Are they there for like, no reason? I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it's me, her, and him are supposed to be the main characters of the game, but still. Don't introduce all these other characters and never use them in the plot. The first victim is a 45-year-old housewife. She was injured four days ago. Let's go talk to her, then. Yes, who is it? Sorry for disturbing you at this, but we're from a company called Gatekeepers. How may I help you? We heard that a woman living at this dress was recently injured in an accident. Uh, uh, would you happen to be that woman? Hmm. Do you think you could tell us anything about what happened? I'm trying to forget everything that happened that day. Sorry, but I have nothing to say to you. Well, that didn't get far. So what now? Hmm. Doesn't look like we'll be able to get any answers out of her. There's no point in hanging around here. Let's go visit the person, next person on the list. Okay. 
Apartment 501. This is the place. A 23-year-old female. She was heard two days ago. So do you think she'll talk to us? I hope so. Yes? Sorry for dropping by unannounced. Through reporters from Gatekeepers Incorporated. Reporters? For what? It's an occult publication. Occult? What do you mean by that? You guys write about stuff like ghosts and UFOs? Uh, something like that. Could you spare some time to talk to us? Hold on a second. Get her! <laughs> they just ram her and tackle her. Man, what the heck? You guys are students? Yeah, it's kind of a part-time job. Really? I didn't know you could get one like that. So, what do you want? Uh, we're currently investigating a number of strange occurrences happening in the area. Occurrences? Yeah, we heard that you got injured the other day. Oh, that. Yeah, it didn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Do you think you could tell us more about what happened? Sure, why not? What do you want to know? The time she was injured, how she was injured, location where she was injured. Probably location. Where? In my room. In your room? Can you really, can you remember anything else? Uh, let's see, after I got home, I had dinner, and then spaced out in front of the TV, and then... Oh yeah, I decided to redo my nails since my nail polish was all chipped up and nasty looking. Redo your nails? Yep, take a look. They look so pretty. Right? I've been into getting gel type nail polishes recently lately. Gel nail polish? What? You never heard of it? Just do your nails with it and they shine a UV light on them. Alright, we we had enough with frickin' nail topics. We don't care. The guys are probably like, uh like rolling their eyes. It's really easy to get have cute tables using gel polish. It's so it's super popular right now. That's pretty cool. What happened next? You thought you're about fixing your nails and then and there was this horrible smell all of a sudden, so I opened the window and started working on my nails. Then out of the blue, all the lights went out, and it felt like I was frozen in place. I was really scared. I couldn't do anything. Then a shadow flew through the window and attacked me. Attacked you? Yeah. Can you believe it? Anyway, I think it was a bird or something. A, a bird? Yeah, and it was huge. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before. A bird, huh? You guys specialize in the occult, right? Do you think you've been some kind of monster? That's what we're trying to figure out. Is that a fact? Not sure what else to say other than good luck. Anything else you want to know? Uh, I think that's everything. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us. Okay, bye then. Attacked by a bird. Maybe th what happened to her it doesn't have anything to do with our case. Then. Nah, it's too early to draw any conclusions. Let's go see the next victim on the list. The next juicy story on the list. Now, apparently we've been doing, apparently it took us forever to get to the next victim because it was like morning, e uh, like kind of uh, you know, do uh, evening ish, and then like uh, you know dusk, and then evening like nighttime. But yeah. this is the place. The victim is a 17 year old male. Uh, he was attacked three days ago. It looks like his injury is minor. He was released from the hospital after he was treated. Knock knocking. Oh, they have doorbells. No, 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 knocking. He's out. Yes? Oh, you must be friends of his. Uh, no, we're just... Yes, we are. Oh, I apologize for making you come out all this way to see him. Uh, we wanted to see how he's doing. How's he holding up? Actually, since the attack, he's been holding and hiding out in his room. Uh, I'm actually doing Sheikhan's voice there for a second. He was hurt badly, but he's been a totally different person since leaving the hospital. Do you know what happened to him? I honestly don't. He refused to tell me anything. He just sits in his room and repeats a monster bird, a monster bird. I think he's delirious. I don't think I can let you see him just now. I'm sorry. Uh, no, don't be. Uh, we'll come by again some other time. I do appreciate you taking the time to come by. Take care. Man, who lives in the rock star right, right now? Or the, or the country music star, I don't know. No, that's not country music. That's more like a, like a weird uh, folky rock or something like that. Anyway. Bird again? A monster bird. Might be connected to our ghost hunt after all. What do you think, Vlad? Well, yeah, real uh, two bird stories back to back. Why not? 
You too, huh? We're gonna need more information to confirm our suspicions, though. True, you just can't. You just can't. Mur you just can't uh, arrest someone just for saying that birds attacked them. Can't arrest all birds. Why are we here? Uh, apparently, the owner was attacked and injured five days ago. Isn't this a a turtle? It's rather different from the common variety around here. Obviously, it's, it's just look at the pattern on its shell. I've never seen anything like it. Hello, can I help you with something? Every day of Darvel. We just got him the other day. What? Oh, I was just looking. And uh, do you work here? Yes, I do. Uh, you were injured somehow a few days ago, correct? Could you tell us what happened? Where did you hear what I got hurt? I assume it's not the kind of injury you get in the course of a normal day. How did you know so much about it? Uh, we're boarders from the Gatekeepers Incorporated, an occult publisher. The occult? I have to admit, I'm interested in stuff like that. But as for the occult, now that you mention it, the whole experience was pretty spooky. Could you go into detail about what happened? I think it was around 9 or so in the evening. And I was going outside to close the shutter. Right about then, the turtle tank began to shake and I went numb. It's hard to breathe, too. On top of all that, I got the chills. I thought I was getting sick when a dark shadow jumped on me. A shadow? It caught me by surprise. Luckily, I was always spr I always sprained my ankle while trying to run back into the store. Give me an idea what the dark shadow may have been? No clue. First time I've ever seen anything like it. I really can't tell you how much, much about it as it was so dark out, but it might have been a bird? I see a bird, or something else, a monster, a new species of some kind, it could have been a ghost for all I know. If folks like you from a cult publisher, uh, if folks like, like you from a cult publisher are interested, it had to be something like that. Yeah, it could be. However, I can't say for sure as we're still investigating the matter. Still, this old thing sounds exciting. It'll be sh I'll be sure to grab a copy of your next issue. Thank you. Are you ready to go, Vlad, Mifune? What is it? Did you want to stay here a little longer? Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about how adorable these turtles really are. Don't make me try to like you, Sunday girl. Mm -mm -mm. Ah, so you're interested in the turtles, then. Those are called Peninsula Cooters. <laughs> Cooters, really? See the yellow stripes on their shell and bodies? Aren't they adorable? They're easy to take care of, too. Just feed them fruits and veggies and... Oh, and you'll need an aquarium and also UV light. They'll die without adequate sunlight. Then if you're interested, I could probably cut you a deal on a UV light setup. Uh, no, thank you. Please excuse me. Yep, he tried to give her try to give her the whole shebang. Well, he is a salesman at heart, I guess. I assume. He never got out of face, so we'll never see him again. Next stop is the hospital. That guy we talked to earlier, he must really like her wait. Is this the next morning? Because it's like dawn out or something. Or that could be dusk, I guess. But Anyway. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, that's a safe bet. It must be nice to be constantly surrounded by things that make you happy. Vlad, would you ever keep a turtle as a pet? Uh, No, because they're cool looking, but I don't really care for pets. I'm a cat guy. Well, most people aren't fans of reptiles. That's true, I can't stand the sight of frogs or snakes. Well, we can debate whether to get one or not later. The hospitals are less up. Let's head in before visiting hours are over. Yeah, we should... Uh, wait a second. Isn't the girl uh, walking this way that one? Is it cat lady? I mean... Oh, nope. Different lady. Although she's got a unique sprite, which means she's important. Oh. Konnichiwa. It must have been uh, the will of the gods that brought us together this day. Do you know Mifune? Remember, remember that case we had at the retirement home? She's a shrine maiden I ran into. It appears you're doing well. You seem to be doing okay too. Where are you going? I've been busy interviewing possible witnesses in the area. Witnesses? Oh no, forget I said anything. Uh, I really should be going. Hopefully we'll get a chance to speak again soon. If 
If you'll excuse me, even though all she said was sayonara, which is basically goodbye. But, you know, English translators have to have a put a little bit more into it. A shrine maiden visiting a hospital? That's the most reassuring combination. Like the last time I saw it, it seemed like she was looking for someone, or something or someone. Is that so? You know, whatever the case, we should probably get going too. Yeah, you're right. I think, wasn't she in the last episode, or was it the one before that? Something like that. It wasn't that long ago, actually. I think this is the room. Uh, Chief said this is where the, that fisherman was staying. Let's go in. Mary, come in. Who are you? I knew all the fishermen's voice. Sorry for dropping in like this. We're from Gatekeepers, Incorporated, an occult publication. We'd like to ask you a few questions regarding your accent yesterday. The occult? Yeah, I get it. I've never believed in the supernatural or that nonsense, but now that you bring it up, I'm pretty sure I was attacked by something really mysterious and creepy. So, what do you want to know? I don't have a problem with helping you guys out. Thank you. Uh, can you tell us when or where you attacked? I think it happened around 10. I was on my way to Wakasu Seaside Park to get some fishing in. Since it was calm out for a change, I decided to catch my lines for the cha cha. Would you mind going in more detail? Well, as soon as my lure was eliminated, I suddenly couldn't breathe, then I got the shivers. The moment I realized something was wrong, I was attacked. Your lure was lit up? Apparently this ghost is att attracted to UV light. Yeah, when uh, when you go night fishing, use a luminescent layers as a must. You must have you have a small black light flashlight, and then you shine it on the layer to light it up. Uh, did you see who or what attacked you? Just that there was a shadow, a big one of that. It looked like a blood to burn or something. I was so surprised by it that I fell. I slipped and fell into the water. I guess I smacked my head when I fell. It ended up like this. Luckily, they found me in time. I see. Got any ideas what it was? It didn't feel like it was alive, and it was something I haven't ever seen before either. Uh, that's what we're trying to figure out right now. That's not right. Anything else you want to ask? I've already told you everything I know, though. I understand. Thank you for cooperation. You guys, watch out for yourselves, okay? I'm trying to make up new voices for every single character I come across, but I'm just going to start reusing them because that, that hurts my voice. It looks like we talked to everyone on the list. The only thing in common with all the victims is some bird light thing attacked them. And UV lights. I agree. Uh, if it does turn out to be a ghost, no reason would have to start attacking people. We should try to gather more information tomorrow. You're right. Alright, let's head back to the office. Tell Chief what we learned. Oh, I'm sorry. I have to stop by home first. Go ahead without me. I'll meet up with you later. Is that so? Vlad, would you mind walking Buffune home? Ha! 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 No. Please stop forcing me onto her. She's a strong woman. She can she can take care of herself at night. Quit forcing me onto her. Remember all the people who've been attacked? Should be in the dark alone. But fine. So that's it. Thanks for doing this, Vlad. I don't think I had a choice in this. Huh? You're not coming with us? I need to take care of some things myself. Yeah. I'll see you guys later. Wait. Stop staring off into space like an idiot. Let's get going already. And this is why you're quite lovely. Just because it's just the two of us, don't give you the green light to do anything weird, got it? Oh, don't worry. Don't worry, lady. We're not, uh, we're not doing anything. You can get your sick fantasies out of your head. The only person who'd like to talk to you is a rock. A rock with moss on it. Because that would look awesome. I don't know, whatever other types of rocks are there. Rolling stone? But they gather no moss. Fine, let's head to the station. <laughs> She's like, don't get any ideas, I'm just staring at her going, just blink, just going, really? What's with that blank look on your face? We have stuff to do, right? No, it's her voice. Yeah. Maybe we can find more clues today. Vlad, Mifune. Yo. Yo. Something happened? We have to head to the office immediately. Seems there's some new information regarding the case. New information? Yeah, for now, let's head to the office, see what's going on. Alright. Dun dun dun. 
new surprising evidence in the case of the bird thingy. Alright, it looks like everyone's here. I'll just get to the point. As you're just posting a new comment on the forum, what did it say? Go to the hospital in Koto at 4 in the afternoon and visit a patient named Kira. That's the entire message. Why such a specific time? Yeah, that kind of worries me too. What is like we're getting set up by someone or something? What if it's a trap and we get attacked by this bird once we show up? Yeah, well, read my mind. Going by what we learned yesterday, it seems only it only attacks people at night. Um, while some birds have night vision, most species are not active during the night. Except for owls. Owls do. They're cool. Another mysterious aspect of this case. Why does everything happen at night? I don't know. Hidden? People don't notice? I don't know. Easy to easy to do so without people seeing? What do you think, Blaz? Is it a trap? Probably, but I'm gonna... I seriously doubt it. Really? Am I just... Really? Am I just being paranoid? It'll be fine. Both me and Vlad will be there with you. Besides, you forgot one tiny thing. We're gatekeepers! Dar! You're right. What does that mean? It's not like we can fight actual people. We can only fight ghosts. You know? Even then, what what really is that worth? It looks like a patient called Kira somewhere on this floor. Uh, room 607. This is it. Now we'll probably we'll get that one epic clue. Maybe. Uh, excuse me. Boy. Is he asleep? Nah, I think he's unconscious. What? It doesn't look like he's moved in a while. He's being fed intraven intravenously via that IV tube. Man, what happened to him that that had to happen? So, he's... Did Azure want to talk to this boy? Azure just said gatekeepers should visit the patient known as Kira. They never said anything about talking to him. Are you going to say something here might be vital to the case? More than likely. Well, I feel bad for this guy, Kira guy. We should focus on searching his room for now. I'm gonna sad look around. Cause I'm sad bear. The boy continues to breathe quietly. There's a birdcage and chessboard by the window. An empty birdcage? Why would something like that be here? And the chessboard? I wonder what if it haunts him. He must have liked playing chess. Just wait. And, and you are? Who are you? Konnichiwa. What are you... What are you doing here? We're from Gatekeepers Incorporated, a cult publication. Thank you, yours, brother. You're from Gatekeepers? I'm surprised. I wasn't expecting students to show up. I was the one who told you to come here. What? What? So you're Azure. Why don't we go outside and talk? Sure. Or uh, sure. I think that kid's voice has got to change multiple times on me. Now, why don't you tell exactly what's going on here? I was just about to do so. Uh, I was just about to do so. That's why I invited you here in the first place. I think I was trying to go British, but now I've lost that. Who are you? My name is Chik uh, Chikasu Kiki. I'm a third year at Trinity College High School. Why did you go through the trouble of creating the Azure alias just to get in touch with us? I wanted want to meet the group you claimed that could take care of ghosts in Tokyo. To be honest, uh, Cockney, Cockney, Cockney. To be honest, I just wanted to see if the rumors about you were true or not. I see. That's why you said a time and place and roundabout way to go about this, huh? I'd rather you refer to it as cautious. So who is this gear boy anyway? How's he related to you? I first met him at the chess tournament. Ah, uh, that's right. I I skipped too quickly. Actually, I couldn't read it again. Ah, uh, that's right. I remember seeing a chessboard in his room. I'm president of the chess club and recently recently participated in an annual junior chess tournament. Kira was there too. I was in the middle of a match when I heard a voice behind me. Y'all. Uh, you will move to 7H to put his king's checkmate. 
I was surprised he was able to read the board well enough to see five moves ahead of me. We hit it off right after that. Exchange numbers. The promise that we played together each uh, other soon. But we were never able to. They got in a serious car accident. He had to be arrested in the hospital. And he's been unconscious ever since. Yeah. I've been coming here to visit him every day since the accident. Uh, and you think our case has something to do with Kira? Yeah, that's why I requested your services. I think I'm turning my ears all of a sudden. A bird. A bird plays an important role in all this, right? Figured out that much already? The others we've talked to were attacked by a bird, and the empty cage in our friend's room. Ah, Kira's had put a bird, pet bird uh, that meant the world to him. He named it Kyara. But about, about a week ago, Kyara died. Not too long after that. I was running late that day. I managed to squeak in before visiting hours ended at night. That's when we saw it. It was the ghost of a bird. It was flying out of the window of his room. You actually saw it? Yeah, clearly. After that, all of those weird accidents began to take place. While I was visiting Kira, I overheard that someone was admitted after being attacked by a bird. I got the shivers just thinking about it. I mean, what the ghost I saw was involved somehow. I started thinking that something horrible beyond imagination might be happening at the point. That's why you requested us. Exactly. To keep others from getting hurt, I have to put a stop to all this for his sake. I have a favor to ask. I want to join you while you're investigating. You? Of course, you gotta have another kid character. The, the super young kid character. Why not? Please, I have to stop all this no matter what. Why are you going to be so much effort for this kid you barely know? It makes me remember. What? So please, let me go with him. No. No kid is a bad kid. I'm gonna angry... Angry smell you. Kuki smells faintly of herbs. Why not? Why can't I go with you guys? Plankoon is just worried about you. That No, I'm not worried about him. I think he's a brat. Even though he's never shown any indication of things that he's a brat. Bill can tell just how serious you are. So as I may not can go with you. I don't have a problem with it if Vladimir fit. I just said I had a problem with it. And yet apparently he says I don't have a problem with it. Screw you, game. I'm fine with it. Arigato. Thank you. Are you really serious about this? It's going to be pretty dangerous. Yeah, I'm ready for anything. Alright, let's head back to the office for now. We should go over everything we learned up to now. I need to introduce you to the chief. Fall away. Just call my Koki. Nice to meet you, Koki. Welcome to the team. We're back, but we're gonna leave for now, I think. In the next episode of Ghost uh, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters, we're gonna find out more about more about this man's bird, how to say how to get the spirit, and how to put rest all the wrongs to the right to the world. Or I'm just I'm just trying to make it more extreme than it actually is. We're gonna fight like a bird or something like that. So, see y'all next time. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next episode.